Hello and welcome to another video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this video, we're going to take a quick tour around my website, as most of you will probably be unaware of its existence. So I've had a website for a while now, but only recently have I had the time to consolidate it all and polish it up to the extent where I can show you. The aim of the website is to gather up and present everything to do with the Raspberry Pi Guy, and so let's actually take a look at it. So first off, where can you find my website? The web address is simply the raspberrypiguy.com and if you load it up, it should look something like this. This is the home page of my website, and it features some introductory stuff, such as an embedded version of my Two Years of Pi video and a link to my YouTube channel here. If you scroll down, you'll see there are buttons to access my various media platforms, including Twitter, YouTube, and Google+. Let's go up to the navigation bar. So in the navigation bar, you'll see that you have several different options to take you to the different pages of the website. The About Me section features information about me, Matthew Timmons Brown, and also information about the Raspberry Pi and what it actually is. On the Tutorials and Videos page, you'll find links to all of my videos as well as all of the text associated with them. Simply click on a video title or image and it will take you to the dedicated page like so. Here you can watch and read as well as make comments which I will answer. Moving on, you'll see that there's also a blog subsection here. If I click on that, you'll see that I've blogged about a few things. Here I intend to pass comment on announcements and general news as well as telling people what I'm currently up to. Also, you'll notice several widgets down the side of the page. The top one is a subscribe widget here. If you put your email address in there, then it will notify you every time I post something new. Going down, you'll also see my Twitter, as well as a search and archives box. If we scroll up again, you'll see another menu option called Jargon Blitzer. If we click on that, then you can see a full page of computer jargon with all of the plain English underneath it. This is going to be a really useful resource, and I intend to add to the glossary as I progress with my channel and website. Last but not least, you'll see that the final page of the raspberrypyguy.com is a Contact Me one. If I click on that, it will present you with a helpful contact form that will go straight to my email. Here it is. If you ever need any Raspberry Pi help or need to contact me for any reason, then do not hesitate to do it here. And so concludes my brief overview of my website. I hope that all of you check it out and don't forget to spread the word. I intend to develop my website further in the future and if you'd like to help with that, then don't forget to contact me. Please like, subscribe and share and until next time, bye.